Hello kids! And today we have six games! So let's play our first game! Today we're gonna try to solve all the puzzle game on this board. So we have dolphin puzzle pieces, we have fruit puzzle pieces, I'm gonna learn about the fruits. I'm also gonna learn how to count till 10. And we have different fishes, so we're gonna put this away in our crayons, in our colorful crayons. And let's start. Oh, where did they go? We don't have puzzles and we don't have fruits. Hmm, let's try to find them. Let's look at these crayons. So one of each crayons contains the fruits and puzzle pieces. Okay, let's start with our first pink crayon. Let's take it and let's shake it. Okay, here we have puzzle pieces and we also have a fish. And let's do one by one. Let's start with our puzzle pieces. And as we said before, we're gonna find the puzzle pieces for the dolphin. Okay. We have the corner puzzle piece and the side puzzle piece. Okay, where we should place them? Let's look at this one, the first corner puzzle piece. And you can see here that this part of the image matches the puzzle. So we can try to place it here like that. And then we have the puzzle piece where we have the part of the dolphin. And it should be somewhere here. So let's try to place it like this. Great, we've combined our two puzzle pieces. Let's move on to our fruit board. And here we have cherries. And let's think together where we can place the cherries on this board. So we have two of them. And let's place it, yes, let's place it here. Great, let's continue with the next one. And here we have orange. And let's think where we can place. Maybe we can place it here. No, the orange doesn't have leaf. So let's try to place it like this. Great, we found our two fruits. And we also have our fish. And it's a pink color fish. And this fish is number seven. Okay, let's place fish. Like, he, like this, here. And let's pick our next crayon. And our next crayon gonna be, yes, it's gonna be red crayon. Let's open, let's shake it. And look, we have new stuff here. We have new puzzle pieces, new fruit and new fishes. But let's start with our puzzle pieces. And let's turn around them together. So we have side puzzle pieces, so we can only place them on a side, right? And it's go same for this one. So let's think together where we can place them. So here we have the part of the dolphin again. And you can see here, I think it's somewhere there. So let's place it right now at this place. And think where we can take the next one, where we can put it. And I think the next one, we can combine with the corner puzzle piece. So here we have the tail of the dolphin and here we have the corner puzzle piece. Let's connect them together like this. Great. And here we have a pair and pair we can place somewhere on the board. And I think it should go here because it's the same shape as the pier. So let's try. Great. And let's continue with the fishes. And we have fish number three. And it's a red color fish. Let's place it here. And here we have fish number four. It goes right after the number three fish. Like this. Great. We already found so many stuff. But let's continue with our puzzle adventure. You are doing super. <laughs> And let's take our next crayon, which would be the blue crayon. Let's shake it and let's open it. Okay, we have we have fruit, we have puzzle piece, and we have fish. 
Let's start with the puzzle piece. We have corner puzzle piece. And you can see here that we have small star that's smiling. And let's look at this small image. And here we can see that the star is here. So we can place it right in that corner. And then we have a fish. And this fish is number nine. And it's a blue fish. Let's place it somewhere here. So it goes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. And next one we have lemon. And let's think where we can place the lemon. It might be, it might go here, but it, but the lemon is too huge for this shape. Let's try to place it here, like this. Great. Let's continue with our puzzle adventure. And the next one we're gonna pick gonna be the yellow crayon. And look, we also found the new fruit and it's a watermelon. And let's think together where we can place the watermelon. And it's our secret watermelon that we found by accident. It was, it was after the crayon when we picked like this. Okay, let's think where we can place. I think it should go here because it's really big for, for any other shape. Great, we found our secret bonus watermelon. Let's take our yellow crayon and let's shape like this. Let's open it. Okay, we have different puzzle pieces and fishes and we don't have any fruits. Okay, let's start with the puzzle pieces. And we have corner puzzle piece. And here we have a mouth of dolphin. And I think it should go here because it's a corner puzzle piece. And let's take the next one. And the next one is the body of the dolphin. And I think it might go somewhere here. Let's try. Let's try. Yes, great. We found already so many puzzle pieces. And we also found two fishes. One is yellow color and it's number one. And another one is six number and it's pink color. So let's think together where we should place them. So the counting always starts with number one. So one goes here, then goes two that we still need to find. Then goes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's try to find other fishes, other fruits and other puzzle pieces. And let's complete this big puzzle game. And let's take this brown crayon and let's shake it. And let's see if we have something there. Let's open. Wow, we have so many things here. And let's start with puzzle pieces. And we have two puzzle pieces and we have corner puzzle piece and we have side puzzle piece. And this side puzzle piece, we should turn like this because here is the mouth of the dolphin and here is the mouth of the dolphin. So we can connect them together and we can have completed another puzzle piece for our board. And another one is also corner puzzle piece. And here we can see on the image, it matches this puzzle piece. We can place it like this. Great. We only left with three puzzle pieces. Great. Congratulations. But let's continue with other things. And we found two fruits. We found the green apple. And we need to place somewhere on a board. And let's try here. No, it doesn't go here because it's still a place. So it's a bigger fruit than the apple. So I think the green apple should go here. Great, we found the place for the green apple. And here we have the fruit called lime. And lime is really small. And it, I think it should go maybe here, maybe here or maybe here. So maybe let's try here. No, it's too big. Maybe let's try here. No, it's too big. And maybe the last one. Yes, it works. And we also found the fish number 10 and it's a violet color. So let's place it here and let's count. One, two, 
we need to find the number two, three, four, five. We still need to find the number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great! And we only left with two crayons, with orange crayon and with green crayon. So let's take, yes, the green crayon and let's open it, shake it and open it like this. And here we have different puzzle pieces, fish and different and a lot of fruits. We have three fruits. So let's take the puzzle pieces first and, le and then continue with other stuff. So let's see what we have here. Here we have the side puzzle piece and here we see the eye of the dolphin. So here is the eye of the dolphin and it matches. So we're gonna place it, yes, like this here. Great. And here we have another side puzzle piece and we should place it here. It's a rock and here is a bit of grass. Let's place it here. Great, we only left with one puzzle piece. Okay, let's continue with our fruits. And we have three different fruits. We have red apple, we have peach, and we have plum. Okay, and red apple, it's called red because it's a red color. Okay, and we should place the red apple, yes, here. And then we have a peach. Let's think together where we can place the peach. Maybe it could go here. You see, it's too big for this place. So we cannot put it here. We need to find another one. Maybe here. Yes, it works pretty well. And another one is plum. Where we can place the plum? It's really small and it has the violet color. Maybe it should go here. No, it's too big for this place. Maybe it could go here. No, it's too big for the shape. And the last place where we can put it would be this one. Let's do it together. Yes, great. We've placed the plum and we almost completed our fruit board. And the fish that we found is green color and it has the number five. Okay, let's think together. We can place the number five. We have number one, number two, number three, number four. And after number four, it always goes the number five. Great. We only need to find two more fishes. So let's continue with our puzzle game. And when we only have a last crayon and let's shake it. Let's open. All right. We have puzzle piece. We have fish. We have different fruits. So let's start with puzzle piece. And this is our last puzzle piece. But it's also really interesting because we need to turn around the puzzle piece to make it match our image. And we turn around nicely and let's place it. Amazing, we completed our puzzle piece with dolphin. So then the next one that we're gonna complete gonna be the fruit puzzle board. So let's take the raspberry and let's think together where we can place. And you can see it has really curly shapes. So maybe it could go here. Let's turn around. No, it doesn't go. I think it's because we turn around the not the right way. Let's turn around again like this. And let's place it. Great, well done. And the next one we have the strawberry. And the strawberry is only one place where we can put it. So let's do it together. One, two, three. Great. We completed our fruit puzzle board and we only left with two fishes. We have fish number two and we have fish number eight. So let's start with fish number two and we should, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Hey! Congratulations, we completed the whole puzzle game. We, we found all the fishes, we found all the fruits, and we found all the puzzle pieces. So we completed the puzzle piece for the dolphin, and we found the red apple, orange, peach, cherry, lemon, lime, strawberry, pear, green apple, plum, raspberry, and watermelon. And we found all our fishes. Let's count. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great! You're done this amazing. See you in the next video. That was amazing. And our next game is game number two. So let's start. And today we're gonna learn about the numbers, but we also gonna find the missing puzzles for this puzzle game. And here we can see the turtle that is smiling to us. Great, let's start. Oh, where did the puzzle go? And the numbers. Let's find them and let's pick our first crayon. And it's gonna be the yellow one. And let's shake it and let's open like this. Okay, we have a lot of things here that we need to process. And let's find our puzzle. And let's turn and see. Okay, it's a leg of the turtle. And it's a side puzzle. So we need to place somewhere on a side like this. And I think if we look at this picture and we look at this puzzle, and we're gonna see that this is the leg of the turtle. Okay, let's maybe start to place it here and then see if we're gonna move it. Okay, let's continue with the next one. And here we have two numbers. And to place the number in the correct place, let's count. One, two, and three. Correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. And here we have vegetables, seafood, and also the sausage. Okay, and this called the sausage, correct. And these two guys are called lettuce. Okay, and the last one we have crab. Okay, great, we completed our first puzzle. Let's continue with the next one and let's pick, pick the crayon. Let's shake it and it's a brown crayon. Let's shake it and open it like this. And here we have a lot of things that we need to go through. But first, let's see where our puzzle is. And it is here. Okay, let's think together where we can place this puzzle. And again, it's a side puzzle piece. And here you can see we have a rocks. Like here, like this. We have a grass on the rock. And if we're gonna look here, then we're gonna see that we should place it somewhere here. Okay, and this puzzle piece, I think it should go somewhere else. And if we look here, I think it should go like this. Let's place it like that and see later if we're gonna move them and rearrange. Okay, let's continue with our numbers. And here we have number 12, yellow color. And here we have number one, pink color. So let's count number one, number one. And it always starts with the number one. And let's continue with number 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Great. And we found already four numbers. And here we have egg, and it's called egg. Okay, and here we have broccoli. It's called broccoli. And here we have two mushrooms, and it's called mushrooms. Great. We are learning really fast and completing our puzzle. And let's pick the next crayon. And the next one gonna be the pink one crayon. Let's shake it and let's open it. Oh, there is a lot of things here. Okay, and let's pick the puzzle and turn around. And here we can see the corner puzzle piece. And let's think where we can place. Maybe it should go somewhere here. But also you can see that there is a small, bubble and here is the bubble so maybe we can combine them let's do it. yes it worked pretty well 
let's continue on our puzzle journey. And here we have two numbers. And we have number 11, green color, and we have number 5, green color. So let's count. Let's start with number 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Congratulations! And let's do it next number, number 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Great! And we have here mushroom. And it's called mushroom. And here we have the watermelon. Look how big and shiny it is. And it's called watermelon. Great! And we are left with four crayons. So let's pick the next one. And the next one that we're gonna pick gonna be the blue one. So let's see what we have inside there. And let's open. Yes! We have here two puzzle pieces, the number, and we also have things that we're gonna learn about. So let's take our two puzzle pieces and let's turn around them like this. Okay, we have parts of the turtle, but where we should place it? So the first thing when we when we try to come when we try to complete the puzzle, we should look at the small image. And let's start with this puzzle piece. So here we can see small part of the mouth, and here is somewhere the small part of the mouth, but also here is the neck of the turtle and here's also neck of the turtle so let's try to place like this great and here we have the part of the turtle and let's think where we should place it on this board let's look at this i think it's somewhere in the middle let's maybe try like this yes great we already combined five puzzle pieces and let's continue with the numbers and here we have number six and let's count one two three four five six great and here we have sausage it's called sausage let's place it here and here we have strawberry it's called strawberry. And let's continue with the next crayons. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be the green one. Okay, let's shake it and see what we have there. Oh, we have here two puzzle pieces. And let's turn them like this. Okay, here we have the puzzle piece of the turtle and it's a mouth of the turtle and let's think where we can place it let's look at this small image and here we have a flower so here is the mouth and here is the flower let's look here here is the flower and here is the mouth so let's place it here like this great and here we have the corner puzzle piece and this is a bit difficult to see where we can place it but it's on a corner and i don't think it should go here because here is the flower and i think it should go here because here is the mouth i think it should go here it's a part of the leg of the turtle let's place it like this great and let's continue with our number and this is number two so let's count together one and two like this great here we have the orange look at this it's called orange and let's take this one and it's called lemon it's called lemon great and the last one it's called corn corn great let's continue with our puzzle game and we left with the two crayons. And here we have the red crayon. Let's shake it and let's open it. Okay, here we have three puzzle pieces. Let's turn around them. Okay, here we have the eyes of the turtle. 
and it's a corner puzzle piece. So we should place somewhere in the corner. And I think it should go here, like this. Great! And here we have the part of the turtle. Let's think where we can place. And it should go? Yes! Here! Great job! And let's take this one. And let's think where we can place it. And here we have the leg of the turtle. Let's do it like this. Yes! Great! And here we have two numbers. And this is number 9. And this is number 4. And number 9 is orange color. And number 4 is blue color. So let's place the number 9 here. Great! Let's place the number 4 here. And before we're gonna place them, let's count. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. And here we have tomato. It's called tomato. Great. Okay, we have our last crayon that we need to open and complete this puzzle. Let's do it. One, two, three. Oh, look at this. We have a lot of things here. And let's go through all of them. So we have two puzzle pieces. And here we have the grass on a rock. And we have a part of the flower. So we need to place it on a corner because it's a corner puzzle piece. Like this. Great. And here we have the mouth and the eye of the turtle. Let's place it on the last empty space, like this. Great! And let's do the numbers. So here we have number 7, pink color, and here we have number 10, blue color. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. Great. And we have here a lime. It's called a lime. Let's place it here. And here we have two sausages. And it's called sausages because there are two of them. Sausages. Great. We completed the puzzle game and this was a really exciting journey and let's go through the numbers so here is the clock that we have and we have all the numbers here so right now we show one o'clock it's called one o'clock here it's called two o'clock here it's called three o'clock here it's called four o'clock Next one is 5 o'clock. Next one is 6 o'clock. Let's turn around again. The next one is 7 o'clock. And the next is 8 o'clock. The next one, 9 o'clock. Let's turn. It's called, how oh, it's called? 10 o'clock. Next one is 11 o'clock. And the last one is 12 o'clock. Great! And look at this penguin. He's really happy with our puzzle completion. We learned about the numbers. We learned how to count. We learned the clock. And we also completed our puzzle turtle game. Great! And we also learned about the vegetables and fruits and seafood. Well done! See you in the next video. Great! Well done! And here we have game number three. Let's go! And today we're gonna learn about the numbers and the colors, but we also gonna find the puzzle pieces for the crab puzzle game. So let's start. Oh, where did they go? Let's find the puzzles, the numbers, and the circles. And we also need to find smiley face. Let's go. So we're gonna pick our first crayons. We have different color crayons. 
we have red color crayon, pink color crayon, orange color crayon, brown color crayon, green color crayon, yellow color crayon, and a blue color crayon. So let's pick the first one. And the first one that we're gonna pick gonna be the yellow one. Yes, so let's shake it like this and open it. Oh, we have different, different parts here. So we have the circles, the puzzle piece, two of them, and the number. Okay, let's start with the puzzle pieces and let's turn around them. One, two, three. Okay, we have corner puzzle piece and the side puzzle piece. So let's think where we should place the corner puzzle piece. Let's look at this image. And we can see that here is the small flower, the white one with the green. And here it's there. Let's place it right here. Great, let's pick the next puzzle piece. And we have an eye of the crab. So let's think where we should place it. And I think it should go somewhere here. Let's leave it like that. And let's continue with other stuff. And let's take our number. And let's turn around. So this is number 10 and it's a violet color. So let's take the number 10 and place it somewhere on a board. I think it should go, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great. And we have violet circles and we should place them also with the number 10. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Congratulations, we completed our first crayon and we found two puzzle pieces, number 10 and 10 circles, 10 wheels. Great, let's continue. And the next one crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be, da, 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 which one? Yes, it's gonna be green one. Let's take it and shake it like this. One, two, and open it. Great. We have different pieces of in this crayon. And let's see, we have circles and these circles are different colors. And we have two puzzle pieces and two numbers. Okay, let's start with our puzzle pieces. And here we have the eye of the crab and the hand of the crab. Let's place it here so we can connect the eye with other puzzle piece. Great. And here we have a part of smiley face of the crab. And let's think together where we should place it. Let's look at the small puzzle image. I think it should go here like this. Let's try it together. And yes, great. Well done. Okay, we found we found four puzzle pieces. And let's continue with the next things that are on our table. And let's take this number and let's turn and it's a number 4. And let's count together. 1 2 3 4. Great, and we have four circles. One, two, three, and yes, four. Great, you're doing amazing. Let's continue with this number, and this is number three, and it's a yellow color. Number four, green color, and number three, yellow color. And let's count together. One, two and three great let's place it here and we have three yellow wheels and let's place like this one two and three amazing you you're i'm really excited that we are continuing our journey and you're doing amazing job let's continue with our next crayon and the next crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be blue one and let's shake it like this 
and open it. And we have here two different puzzle pieces, number and and we have wheels. So let's start as always with puzzle pieces. And let's take them and think where we can place. And you can see here that we have side puzzle piece. So it should be somewhere on a side and we need to decide where we should place it. And here we can see the part of smiley face of the crab. And, and it's somewhere here, I think, somewhere on this board. Let's place it like this and try together. And yes, it's gonna work. And we have completed another puzzle piece. And let's take this one. And here we have a hand of the crab. And, and this is the corner piece. So we can place somewhere in the corner. We can place it here, 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 or here. And I already see that we can place this puzzle here because you can see we can combine them. So let's push, great. And let's continue with our number. And this is number eight. And it's a dark blue color. And let's think together where we should place it on a board. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great. And we have eight wheels. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and last one, eight. We are doing so great that we are completing this puzzle in no time. So let's continue. Let's pick our next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be the orange crayon. Let's shake it and open it. And we have here different puzzle pieces, wheels and the number. Okay, let's think where we, let's, let's solve this one by one. Let's take the puzzle piece and turn around. And let's take another one and turn around. And you can see that we have corner puzzle pieces. So we can place them here, 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 like this. So we need to think where we can place this one. And this is the part of the hand of the crab. And we already have the first hand here, the right one. So this gonna be the left one. So let's try to place it here and let's push. Great. Let's take another puzzle piece and let's look at the small image. And on the small image, we can see that there is like a small green bush in a corner. And here we also have small green bush. So let's place it here. Great. Let's take the, our wheels and let's take our number and let's turn around. And you can see that this is number six. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and yes, six, great. And we have six wheels. Let's put them on this pole. And one, two, three, four, five, and the last one, six. So the six wheels represents the number six and it's a pink color. Great. Let's continue with our puzzle and with our numbers. And let's take the red crayon. And there is a lot of things in the red crayon. Let's open it. Oh, we have the puzzle piece. We have the number and we have the wheels, but we also have the smiley face. And this is something special that we're gonna place on this board, but let's leave it at the end. Let's start with the puzzle piece and let's turn around. And you can see that here is the face of the crab and it should go somewhere here on the right side because on the left side, we already combined the smiley face of the crab. So let's place it here like this. Great, we are completing this puzzle. And let's continue with our number. And this is number seven. And it's an orange color. And let's place it on a board. Let's count together. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, and yes, seven. And we have, and we have orange wheels. And let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we only have six wheels, but this is the number seven. So somewhere in these crayons, we have the last wheel for the number seven. So let's find it and let's open the brown color. Let's shake it. Okay, we have puzzle piece, the number. We have actually two numbers and we have wheels. So let's start with the puzzle piece and let's see where we can place it. And this is the side puzzle piece. So we can place somewhere on a side like this. And we have here the smiley face of the crab. And we almost gathered all the puzzle pieces for the smiley face and combined them. So I think we should place it somewhere here and let's try it together. Yes, congratulations. We only left with the two puzzle pieces. So let's continue with numbers. And here we have number one. And number one should, we should place here because that's where we start. One, two, three. It always starts with the one. So let's place there. And let's take the red color wheel because the number one is red color. Let's place it here like this. And we also have number two. And number two is also red color. Let's place it here. One and two, like this. Great, and we have two color wheels. One, two, great. And let's take our last crayon and it's a pink color crayon and let's open it. Shake it like this and open. Oh, we have a lot of things here. So let's go one by one. And the first one thing that we're gonna go would be the orange wheel that we need to place for the number seven. And let's count together again. Let's take all of them and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yay, we completed the number seven. Let's continue with our puzzle pieces. And we only have two, but which one should go here and which one should go here? Let's think. And I think that the one that should go here would be this one, because you can see we have a, a little bit of the sand here. So we're gonna place like this, great. And this one we need to turn like this and place it. Great, we completed our puzzle piece. And let's go with the numbers. So we have here the number five and it's a blue color. And let's count one, two, three, four, five. And let's take our wheels and count. One, two, three, four, and five. Great. And we have here the pink wheels and the number, yes, the number nine. Let's take the number nine and place it here. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and yes, nine. And let's take our wheels and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one, nine. We completed our puzzle and the numbers puzzle game. But we also have the special smiley face that we need to place on this puzzle board. And you can see that there's empty space for the smiley face. Let's place the smiley face here. Great. And let's count again the numbers. One, and it's a red color. Two, and it's a also red color. Three, it's a yellow color. Four, it's a green color. Five, it's a blue color. Six, 
pink color, seven, orange color, eight, dark blue color, nine, light pink color, and 10, violet color. Great! Thank you for joining this puzzle game and see you in the next one. Amazing, we just completed the game number three. And here we have game number four. It's time to play and solve it. Let's go. And today we're gonna solve the panda puzzle. We're gonna play with the panda puzzle. So here we have the panda that's holding the bamboo. And right here we have rainbow. That's right. And look at this panda. She's look pretty happy about it. So let's get started. So the first puzzle that we're gonna solve gonna be the panda puzzle. This one. So we need to find the panda. But how are we gonna do this? The first step gonna be to rotate those cubes and try to find the panda. So let's start with first cube. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Let's... Can you see the panda here? No, there is no panda. Okay, let's leave it aside. Let's try next one. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? No. Let's try next one. So we need to rotate them and try to find the panda, right? So the panda colors are white with black. Okay, so this one cube also doesn't have any panda. Okay, the next one. Does this have the panda? Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Tell me if you see the panda. Yes, here is the panda. Great. So let's place it here at the moment, right? And let's take the next one. Let's rotate. Can you see the panda here? Can you see the panda? Let me know, please, if you see the panda. Let me know. Yes, here is the panda. Great, let's leave it here. And the next one that we're gonna have, again, let's try to find the panda. Can we see the panda? Here is the ear of the panda, can you see? Here is the ear of the panda. Okay, let's leave it here. And the next one, again, let's rotate. Can you see the panda here? No. Let's rotate this way. And then let's rotate this way. And see. No, there is no panda. The next one cube. Let's take it and rotate. Let's see if there is the panda. Hmm. Does this is the ear of the panda? Yes, this is the ear of the panda here. Okay, great. Then let's put it here on the puzzle board. Let's take the next one and rotate. So what we are doing, we're rotating the cube and trying to see if we can identify any panda parts, right? So let's rotate. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? No. Okay, let's put it aside. Next one. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Let's try it this way. Can you? Is this is the panda? No. This is the koala. Okay, but we need the panda. Can you see the panda? Is this is the panda? Let's look at our image. It's holding the bamboo. Yes, this is the panda puzzle piece. Okay, let's place it on the puzzle board. And then let's rotate. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Hmm. Let's rotate this way. Can you see the panda? No. Okay, let's leave it aside. Then the next one. Can you see the panda? Hmm. Can you see the panda? Let's rotate another way. Hey. No, there is no panda here. Can see it. Okay, let's leave it. The next one. Can you is this is the panda? Hmm. But let's rotate and see if there is any other pieces. Mm, no, this is this is actually the panda with the paws. You can see here is the paws, the left leg and the right, and here is the left leg and the right. Okay, let's take this one here. And the next one. 
let's rotate and can you see the panda maybe some part of the panda maybe the leg of the panda can you see the leg of the panda yes here is the leg of the panda let's look at our image and here you see here is the part of the leg of the panda here is the rainbow right so it's the same great let's take to our puzzle board and the next one okay here we have the bee here we have who is that do you know who is that tell me please who is this you know it it's panda nice job great and the last one piece gonna be this one let's try to find the panda hmm. cannot see any panda okay here is the panda great with the bamboo amazing let's look at this puzzle board so we found the puzzle pieces where we can see the panda right and here we have another puzzle pieces that we later gonna help us to finish the puzzle okay so here we have the left eye of the panda and this one is right eye of the panda so let's combine them you see here we have the face with the nose and the smile the next one what we're gonna take gonna be the body of the panda or maybe the ears of the panda that's gonna help us let's look at our image and let's look at this face okay so here's the face here is the ears right so we can combine them maybe together like this hmm. it doesn't work well right so maybe this ear should be mostly on the left like this and this one here okay let's leave it like that and the next one that we're gonna try to find gonna be the body of the panda so here is the bamboo and the hands of the panda so let's try place it here like that great it comes along really well okay and the next one that we need gonna be the paws of the panda so maybe let's try to place them here like this okay and the next one that we're gonna try to find maybe gonna be this one so here is the bamboo and here is the bamboo like this hmm. seems to be all right okay and let's try maybe to turn around them like this let's try this and then turn around this one great well done we almost have the panda here amazing so and the next one that we're gonna take gonna be the bottom part of the panda hmm. it seems to be the right way okay and here's the part of the leg that we found earlier so let's place it right here great so we completed the panda but we still need to complete the wall puzzle and if we look at the image here we have the rainbow okay so let's try to find the rainbow so can you see the rainbow here is the rainbow and here is the rainbow let's take this two let's turn around others can you see the ra here is the part of the rainbow let's next one can you see the rainbow yes no oh okay but this one seems to be like a part of the panda ear and here is the bamboo let's also leave it like this then let's turn around and see if there is the rainbow no there is no here's again the bamboo okay great is there is the rainbow or maybe bamboo can you see the bamboo hmm is this is a bamboo what do you think yes correct okay so and the last one is hmm let's try it again to rotate and see there is the rainbow hmm, i think this is the part of the rainbow and here's the part of the tail of the panda great okay so right now we have found other pieces that we need to combine okay so first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna use our rainbow right and we're gonna rotate like this and then we're gonna place then we're gonna take another piece with the rainbow and we're gonna 
Hmm. Should we place it here? No. We should place it here. Hey. And then another piece. We need to rotate it. Maybe like this. What do you think? Hmm. Doesn't work well. So maybe it should go on other side. And then we rotate. And here we have the panda. Great. And then another. Let's try to take another piece with a rainbow here another piece with a rainbow and place it great well done so here's another part of the rainbow so it should go somewhere here right so great and here is another part of the ear and where we have the ear so it's from the left ear so should we place like this what do you think yes great amazing and then we have another last puzzle piece but this one we need to rotate to make it right okay this doesn't work let's rotate again and yes we've completed the panda puzzle amazing so let's continue with the next one puzzle congratulations we just completed the game four and here we have our game five. Let's start. And today we have a rooster. And also Mr. Pig gonna help us to solve this puzzle. So what we have here is the alphabet, right? So let's start and solve this alphabet rooster puzzle. Okay, so we have the puzzle pieces. And what we're gonna do first, let's ask Mr. Pig. And Mr. Pig is saying us that the first thing that we should do, we should turn around those puzzle pieces. So let's do them one by one. And also Mr. Pig gonna help us. So great, thank you, Mr. Pig. So here we have different types of letters, right? So there is a lot of them. Okay, and we need to combine all these puzzle pieces into rooster. Great. So we turn around all of them and next step that we're gonna do, let's again ask Mr. Pig. And Mr. Pig is saying us that we should find the letter A, right? So let's look for letter A. Can you see the letter A? Here is the letter A. So let's take this letter and let's start from the top. So here's the letter A and great, we found our first puzzle piece with the letter A. So we're gonna learn the alphabet by finding those puzzle pieces. So the next letter is letter B. And where is the letter B? Can you see the letter B? Here is the letter B, great. And here is the eye of the rooster. So let's... And yes, we found our second letter. Great. So the next letter, the Mr. Pig gonna help us. So Mr. Pig is saying that the next one is letter C. And Mr. Pig is searching for the letter C. Where's the letter C? And yes, here is the letter C. Great. So Mr. Pig gonna take this. And Mr. Pig is saying that we should place it right here. Great. We found another letter, letter C. So it's A, B, and C. And the next one is letter D. Okay, where is the letter D? And again, Mr. P gonna help us. Letter D, where is the letter D? Here is the letter D, great. And Mr. P gonna take this and place it next to the letter C. And yes, this is letter D. So it's A, B, C, D. And the next one is letter E. Okay, where is the letter E? 
Can you see the letter E? Where it could be? Here is the letter E. So let's see where the letter E is going, right? Letter E is jumping and it's gonna be placed right to the letter D. So letter E, great. So we completed our head of the rooster. Amazing. So let's continue. So the next letter that we're gonna try to find is gonna be the letter F. Okay, let's try to find the letter F. And if we need a help, we're gonna ask for Mr. P. Okay, where is the letter F? Can you see the letter F somewhere there? Where is the letter F? Here. Here we have letter F. So let's see where the letter F is going. And yes, the letter F found your place on this puzzle board. And next one we have letter G. Great, so let's try to find it. And this time Mr. P gonna help us. So where is the letter G, Mr. P? Where is the letter G? Here is the letter G. Let's take our letter and place it next to the letter F. Like this. And let's press it. Great! We completing our puzzle step by step, piece by piece. So the next piece that we need to find gonna be the letter L. Look. So where could be the letter L? It's a yellow color piece. So here, is, here we have four yellow color pieces. Where is the letter L? Can you see? Great, correct answer. Here is the letter L. So let's take our letter and the letter is jumping. Okay, where, where it's gonna go? And great, we found the letter L. L. Look, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna make, you see there is the blue color, the yellow color, the green color, the red, the pink. So here is the yellow color, here is the blue color, right? Here is the red color, here we have the green color, okay? So let's place next to our board. Here is the orange color. Right, so here we have the yellow, the pink, and here the blue, and this one color is red color. Okay, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna look again to our puzzle, and we're gonna see which next, next letter we should pick. Okay, and the next letter that we're gonna pick is gonna be the letter H. Okay, so letter H. Let's take our letter and here is the letter H, right? So this is letter H and let's see where the letter H is going. And hmm, I think it goes like this and great. So we completed the letter H and actually letter L we need a bit later, not right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place it here. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So the next one is I, right? We need to try to find the I. Where could be the I? It's a yellow color letter. Okay, so here is the letter I. Great, let's take this letter and place next to the letter H, like this. Amazing. And Next letter, let's see which one we should take. So here is the letter H, I, J. So the next one is, I think it's letter J, right? What do you think? After I, it's letter J. Yes, so let's take this and combine. Great, we found another letter. And after J, which letter it is, Mr. P? <laughs> So it's letter, hmm, which one it's letter is? I think it's letter K, right, Mr. P? Yes. 
So let's take the letter K. Can you see the letter K? The blue color. Letter K. Hmm, where it could be? Here's the letter K. Let's take this and place it. Push. Great, we found another letter. And the next one letter, Mr. Pig, which one? It's letter L, remember? So after K, it's letter L. So it is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Okay, so let's place it and break. We found another letter, letter L. Look. So the next one letter is letter, which one Mr. Big M? So Mr. Big gonna help us to find the letter M. It's a green color, so it's somewhere here. Can you see the letter M? Yes, here is the letter M. So the letter M is jumping and it's finding her place. And great, we found the letter M. Okay, and the next one letter is letter N, and it's a pink color. Where is the letter N? You see the Mr. Pig? It's also pink color, so it's the same color as this puzzle pieces, right? So here we have the letter N. Great. So let's take this and place it. Ta-da! Great! We found another letter. So the next letter gonna be letter O. Where is the letter O? It's a green color letter. Mr. Pig, where is the letter O? Here it is. Great. Let's take our letter O and place it next to the N. Great. Well done. And after the O, we have the letter P. Where is the P? orange color so here is the letter P great let's take the letter P and place it next to the letter O great and here we can see that if we need some kind of suggestion we can look right here so we already found letter L M and O then it goes P then after the beats R S T U. Okay, so the next letter that we need to find is gonna be the letter R, right? Hmm, or maybe not. Let's think together. So which letter is after letter P? I think it's letter Q, right? A B C D E F G H N J K L M N O P Q. After P, it's Q. Great, we found another letter. And then after Q, it's letter R. Here we have the letter R. Great. And let's press. Amazing. So, let's think which next letter it should be. After the letter R, it's letter S. Can you see the letter S? Yes, here we have the letter S. So, so let's take this and place it. Great. And the next one we have, hmm, I think it's letter, it could be the letter T. Right, so let's take the letter T and place it next to the S, like that. Great. After the T, which letter we have? Yes, it's letter U. So let's take the letter U and the letter U is jumping and press gray. We found another letter. So Mr. P gonna help with next letter. So it's letter V. Mr. P, where is the letter V? Here we have the letter V. Let's take this letter and place it like this and push great so after the letter v we have letter w right so here we have the letter w the yellow color let's take this and place amazing 
You see, we almost completed our puzzle and we also learned about the alphabet. So after the letter W, we have letter X. So let's take the X letter and place it down here. Great, amazing. And the next one is letter Y. So it's a green color, right? Y. Let's see where it's going. And amazing. So we only left with last letter and it's letter Z. Let's take the letter Z and place it down here. Push. Well done. We've completed the rooster ABC puzzle. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and the last one, Z. Great! Thank you, Mr. Pig, also for helping us. Well done! See you in the next video! Yay, that was great! And the next game, our last one, it's game number six. So let's prepare ourselves and let's go! Hello, kids, and today we're gonna solve the orangutan puzzle! Great! The orangutan is in a fitness. Okay, let's start. So we're gonna mix this up. And the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna try to rotate each puzzle piece like this and try to find the orangutan. Okay, so here is the hair of orangutan. You see the brown color. So that's what we need. So we found the first one. So let's take the next one and try to find a orangutan, right? So we need brown color. It could be the part of the body or the part of the face. So does it seem to you like a orangutan? Yes, because it has brown and here's the ear. Great. So let's take the next one. And when we try to rotate, we're trying to see a orangutan. And if you see a orangutan, then please let me know. And I'm gonna stop and we're gonna look up for a orangutan. Okay, is this a orangutan? Yes, let's take this orangutan. Great. So we found three puzzle pieces. And let's do next one. Let's rotate and see if there is a orangutan. Maybe the smile of a orangutan, right? Because he's he's in a gym, right? Okay, where is the orangutan? Yes! Can you see the smile in the nose and eyes? Yes, this is a orangutan. Great! We found four puzzle pieces. One, two, three, and four. Let's continue with the next one and let's rotate and see if there is a orangutan or maybe the brown color of orangutan, right? Let's run and who is that? Can you see? Let's look closely. Can you see that? Yes, it's a hair of orangutan. Great. Let's take this and let's continue with the next one. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one and let's rotate and see hmm trying to rotate slowly so let's maybe look this and mr peak what do you think of this one yes this is the foot of orangutan let's take this great and coming up the next one okay let's take this and what we have here we have here the butterfly but if you look closely we have here the foot of orangutan 
great let's take this here and let's take the next one and rotate and turn around hmm where is the orangutan can you spot the orangutan hmm yes here is the orangutan great so let's take this puzzle piece and place it here and we have the last one puzzle piece that we need to rotate hmm and what is that it's a hand of orangutan right great let's take all these puzzle pieces and let's start with the face so first thing is the face and then we're gonna try to find the puzzle pieces around the face so the next one here is the eye of the orangutan so we're gonna try to combine and yes great and here is another part the ear and the face so let's try and great we already combined three puzzle pieces one two and three well done okay and the next one is body here so where is the body of the orangutan can you tell me where is the body yes this is the body of the orangutan so let's place underneath great so the next one gonna be the left foot here and i think this is the left foot so let's try and here it's coming and yes well done and here is another one with the right foot right so here's the fingers and here's the right foot and let's combine together and great amazing and here we need the hair of orangutan here is the hair of the orangutan so let's try to place it here well done and we only need two puzzle pieces to complete this puzzle okay so here is the two puzzle pieces and here is the hand of orangutan so let's try to fit in like this well done and here is the last one but which side we should do it should we rotate like one and two okay and then let's try to combine and great here is the arm of orangutan well done we've completed the orangutan puzzle see you in the next video yes you've completed all games well done see you in the next video thank you kids bye see you next time don't forget to subscribe